And this is Zaza. Hi. And her dog, Pecorino. <laughs> They're on a mission to find Hold on, Pecorino. and to make the perfect pie. Hi everyone, I'm Elena with Zaza's Perfect Pie. And today I'm gonna show you how to get your pizzas to be round. A round pizza cooks most evenly in the oven. I'm gonna show you two different methods so you can easily be making your pizzas round too. I'm not gonna show you that way. <laughs> Let's get started. In order to end up with a round shape, you need to start with a round shape. That's why when I make my pizza dough, I make sure to form it into small balls before I even let it rise. The first step is to make sure that your work surface is clean. Then you should add a little bit of flour so your dough can slide along on top of your clean work surface. Now we're gonna place our dough onto our floured surface. The first step is that you'll take the palm of your hand and press it into the center of the dough, like this. This first step is the only time I'll really touch the center of the dough. I only use my palm to flatten it out. I don't like to stretch from the center because I think you'll get more holes if you do it that way. Now I'm gonna pick it up and turn it like a steering wheel, holding it by the edges. I'm just gonna do this really quickly because I don't want to stretch it in the air. When I put it down, it's a little bit larger than it was before. Now I'm gonna use the tips of my fingers on the edges of the pizza dough and drag and drag and stretch at the same time. Here I go. You don't want to stretch from the middle because it's already pretty thin there and you might get a hole. That's not what you want. Now that our pizza's stretched, we're gonna need to get it on a pizza peel. What's a pizza peel? This thing. It kind of looks like a giant paddle. We want to get our dough on here, but it's already perfectly shaped on our table. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add a little flour to our pizza peel. I like to use flour instead of cornmeal for dusting my pizza peel. You can use cornmeal if you like, but just remember, it will give you a sandy texture on the bottom of your pizza. You could also use a mixture of cornmeal and flour so the texture is not so pronounced. And dust off the excess. Great, now I'm just gonna move my pizza dough up a little bit. Put my peel underneath it and lift on to my peel. If your dough gets misshapen a little bit, it's okay. You can just put it back to round. I'm gonna make a simple pizza with tomato sauce and Parmesan cheese. First, a thin layer of tomato sauce. You don't want to use too much because then your pizza will get soggy and also stick to the peel. Next, I'm going to sprinkle on some Parmesan cheese. Sometimes I like to put some of the Parmesan cheese on the crust. It makes it almost like a cheesy breadstick. Don't forget to season it with a little bit of salt and drizzle with a little bit of olive oil. Before we get it in the oven, we have to test that we can shake the pizza on the peel. So pick it up by the stem and very gently give it a slide. If it starts to slide like this, you're ready to put it in the oven. I've set up this little scene to show you how I would slide my pizza 
into the oven and directly on the pizza stone. So I open the oven door and give it a slide. If you don't have a pizza stone and a pizza peel, you can use a baking sheet. I line it with parchment paper drizzled with a little bit of olive oil to prevent sticking. I'm gonna place my dough right in the center of my baking sheet and using the palm of my hand, press it out on the center. The olive oil will make the dough slide around. Continue to stretch outwardly. On a baking sheet, you might prefer to make your dough in an oblong shape, but I can still get it pretty round on this. Salt and olive oil. Now this one just goes in the oven as is. Here's the one fresh off the pizza stone. I'm going to add a little extra cheese and some fresh herbs. And now we have the pizza on the tray. They look pretty much the same to me. I'm going to also garnish this one with a little extra cheese and some fresh herbs. Now the best thing about both of these cooking methods is that they slide off so easily. For this one, I usually just pick up the pizza, move my baking tray to the side, and slide it back over. Now which one should I eat first? Now it's time for you to get in the kitchen and start practicing. Don't worry if you mess up a little bit. It takes some practice and it'll probably be delicious just the same.